Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to record your show using the Rodecaster video. Now, there's two main ways you can do this. If you don't plan on doing too much editing and just want the simplest way to get a recording of your live stream, you can record your entire production as a single video file. Alternatively, you can use something called isolated recording, also known as ISO recording. This means you'll end up with individual video files for each of your cameras. You can pair ISO video recording with the Rodecaster Video's multi-track audio to have complete control over all your video and audio sources independently. Let's start by making sure you're set up for recording. Firstly, you'll need a USB storage device, like an SSD or thumb drive. If your drive isn't using the XFAT file system, be sure to back up all your files as you'll need to format it. Once backed up, connect your storage to USB 3.0. Now, if your drive isn't in the XFAT format, go to Settings, then Storage, then USB Storage, and tap Arrays to format your drive. By default, the Rodecaster video records a single video file. This file will record exactly what is sent to your live program feed, including any transitions, live edits, effects, and audio that you adjusted during the show. When you're ready to start recording, hit the green Record button here and it will turn red to show the recording is underway. When you finish your show, just press the button again to end recording. To safely remove your drive, go to Settings, Storage, USB Storage, and tap Eject. Now you can simply unplug the drive from your Rodecaster video, connect it to your computer, and access your file directly. From here, you can work on it in your video editing software or simply upload it as it is. Next, we'll take a look at how to record all your video and audio to separate files. Let's set the Rodecaster video up so that it records each of your video and audio sources to individual files. To enable ISO video recording, simply tap on Settings, Multitrack, and change Program to ISO under the Rec Video menu. For audio, head across to Rec Audio and turn Multitrack on. Here, you can choose between three different multitrack options. If you want to mix and balance your audio in your editing software, select Pre-Fader. This means that the volumes you set for each track on the Rodecaster video will have no impact on the recorded audio. The Bypass DSP option is exactly the same, except it also ignores any of the audio processing or effects you've applied, such as the depth, sparkle, and punch processors. Finally, Post-Fader means that processing and effects, as well as the volume you set on the Rodecaster video, will be recorded, which can save you a lot of editing time if you're confident with your settings and fader positions. When you're ready to start recording, hit the green record button here, and it will turn red to show that recording is underway. When you've finished your show, just press the button again to end recording. To safely remove your drive, go to Settings, Storage, USB Storage, and Eject. Now you can simply unplug the drive from your Rodecaster video, connect it to your computer, and access your files directly. In your editing software, you can import each of your video and audio files onto their own track. This gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to editing, as you can totally remix and recut your show.